Hello guys, welcome to Expertizer Academy. So today we're going to see in AutoCAD plugin development, uh, we're going to see how to get user input information into your program. So there are different ways that you can do it. So I'm just going to uh, show three different options here. And remember guys, I'm actually walking you through uh, from the Auto, uh, Auto, AutoCAD.NET developer guide. So if you can get hold of this, I've also included the link here. So pretty much you can see all these uh, exercises from there. Um, so I have also uh, have my own exercises in, in between, but these are all the basics. I just want to make sure that you understand the basics before we get to more advanced stuff. All right. So in this lesson, we're going to see how to get um, string from a user. That means any character, any integer, any values from the user. Another one is how to get a point value. That means you can ask a user to pick a point on the screen and then, um, you know, they should be able to, you should be able to get the point where, he, where they picked and then uh, get keywords from the user. This is basically, we will see little, little buttons in the editor. And when you click on it, you can get the exact value that you want the user to pick. And then uh, a specific value with some constraints or a keyword. So we're going to see all these four methods here. So the first one uh, is um, how to get a string from user. So we actually go on, uh, into the uh, application services. Uh, this is basically uh, what happens is this is inside um, the uh, the applications document manager and editor object. So this is inside the editor object. If you uh, if you remember uh, the old lesson which I walked you about um, how we exactly uh, these hierarchy of uh, AutoCAD works, AutoCAD interface works, and how exactly they they have the class objects. So we got the application and then application within that we have the document and then the document within the document we have the editor for the document. So this response is what we're gonna get from the user belongs to the editor. So now, um, first thing what we're going to do is we're going to initiate the uh, MDA active document. So that means uh, the entry that the user enters from the active document is what we're going to get from. And then uh, we're going to prompt string options. So this is basically you can set several uh, options um, before you prompt something to the user. Now, if you try to explore this one, uh, and then it gives you a whole bunch of other options as well. You can say allow spaces. If you say false, then the user will not be able to enter a string with spaces. And um, similarly, uh, default values, you can show some of the default values in a bracket. And then uh, is read only keywords. You can specify it's going to be a keyword and you can display a message and, uh, you know, a whole lot of little things that you can specify. And um, so let's say in the default value. So I'm just going to say uh, it's going to be um, Ragulan. And this will be added into the. Um, I just let me close this one. Because every time you build your plugin, you need to start your AutoCAD again and then to load it inside. Okay, so in this one, we're going to get the prompt and it shows the default value here. And then uh, allow spaces is set to true. So that means you can enter text with some spaces. And um, so once you get uh, the, uh, once the user enters the value, so we're gonna use the prompt result and uh, we're gonna get the string from the prompt options. That's where the user has entered the values. And then we got to get the string and then we're gonna store it into this one. And then we're gonna use the AutoCAD's uh, uh, inbuilt uh, dialog box, which is same as your WPF message box and then display the string that we got from the user. All right. So we're going to ask his name and we're going to print his name. That's all we're going to do. Now let's go back to quickly to AutoCAD. Net load is the command and I'm going to choose the DLL file. So this is the plugin AutoCAD control. Oops. Load and uh, let's get the name. So get string from user string from user so it is as you can see it's showing the default value if i press enter it will print the default value it automatically takes a default value so let's say if i give another name uh, it will it will take that name so that's how this one works and let's go to the next one which is getting a point from the user so this is sort of similar in the first two things you know we get the active document we get the database and um, in this case we adding this additional line to get the database because a point is actually an um, 
uh, actually, actually an, a geometry object and um, so we need this one the reason being is we gonna um, when we get the point uh, in this case I'm gonna create a, a line to display the starting point and end point uh, for that I need to add the line to the database for you for you to actually see it um, so now I'm going for the regular method same as the other one um, so that I'm just initial uh, initializing the point result um, variable and then point options I'm just going to leave it blank here and now starting point we're going to get the starting point from the user so first we will display a message stating that enter the starting point of the line so now when the user is entering the point we will get from the point options and using the method get point remember here we are using the method that says get string here we are using the method get point so if you use get string here so the user can enter whatever he wants and we will get it as a string so if you use get point then it will actually ask the user to go and pick the point or enter the location of the point and then uh, we're gonna save this into point 3d and um, and then we saving the point result dot value now remember this is actually um, uh, a point that means it has got XYZ and uh, so now you can also convert this into 2d point or it gives you the XYZ value so you can extract only one coordinate from that so you can also do that and then um, exit if the user press escape that means we're gonna get two points first point and the less uh, the last points are starting and ending point if the user in between presses escape key you will you can actually get him out of the command so this is something you need to do with orals you know user may not know how to get out of the command and then again prompt the user to end uh, enter the end point the same thing what we have done before just get the point and store it as another point 3d uh, variable and this is going to be point start and this is going to be point end so now again check if the user is cancelling it can if they cancel it just go back again one step if the user doesn't cancel it proceed further so now I'm going to create a transaction and um, I'm going to get the block table and the block record is basically where you enter all your created objects that's graphically created objects and uh, I'm going to open the model space and open for read I'm going to create a block table record and define the new line so I'm going to using this uh, using statement and I'm going to use a line AC line and then I'm going to specify the start point and end point and um, and then add the line to the drawing and then uh, you can actually um, add the newly created object to the transaction and zoom to basically what happens is um, uh, it's not going to zoom into the middle of the object to keeping the middle of the object it just zooms everything to the extent of the screen so that means even if you create it in one corner it's not going to be in the middle but it will be in the visible screen so that you can see it and finally you make sure that you commit it or else you will not see this line that we created so I'm committing it so let's go and check that out so the command is get point from the user get point from user so I'm going to specify one point here and then it shows a JIT as well another point and then it does a zoom extent so so that is the second method and the third method is get keyword it's a very easy one so the first line is same as the other one so we get the active document and then uh, we go for prompt keyword options and then we can actually uh, give a message to user to say that what he has to do what is this all about and then you can actually give the keywords here so let's say the first keyword is line circle arc and then allow spaces is false that means user has to pick what he has to do here uh, or even if they're entering the text he, he have to enter without a space the space will not be accepted and then the prompt result um, so now remember in the previous one we got get point to get string in here we got get keywords that means it has to uh, be a proper keyword and then we print the keyword back into the screen so this is going to be get keyword from user so you see like it gives like, like this sort of little uh, tabs here so you can click on whichever you want you can say you can even type something but if you push push some space it's gonna say it's an invalid keyword so now I say I'm gonna type in REC and um, so the REC doesn't exist in this one so it's not gonna work so I can type in ARC and it will be okay so I can pick one of these and it will be okay so as long as you choose one between the key, uh, keyword or you type in exactly same as a keyword it should be working fine and the next one is uh, you constrain the user 
to specify a specific value or uh, pick from the keyword so that means he has a liberty to type in his own values but it has to follow certain rules so now with this one uh, the first line is exactly the same thing so we get the active document and then the prompt integer integer option um, so that means the user has to give us an integer and uh, the message is going to be enter size or pick the keyword and um, so now we're going to say allow uh, zeros false that means uh, we cannot ask we, if the user enters a zero value it's not going to work allow negative value is false the user cannot enter a negative value it has to be positive and uh, then we can specify some keywords big small regular and uh, default keyword is regular that means if we press enter the regular keyword will actually be the one which will be taken and um, allow none is true that means user has to pick something and uh, get the value entered by the user so now user can actually pick one of these keywords or he can enter his own so now when he enters his own so now we will check the print status and then the keyword if the user has picked it if it is true we will go there and we will print the keyword uh, if it is false that means it doesn't fit into the criteria of what we defined and then um, it will reject it and show a message here all right, so let's go and see what's going to happen here. Uh, enter integer or keyboard shortcut. Integer get. Okay, so now uh, let's say if I type in 23. So the entered value is 23. That means it goes to the second one. Sorry, the previously which I mentioned, uh, it will reject the message. So it will be showing the user entered values up here. And if the user picks a keyword, it will show the keyword right up here. Okay, so if I pick the keyword, that will show with a different message. Okay, so that is all for this one, guys. And this is an important function, guys. You, you can actually uh, create sort of like an arbitrary method where you can uh, just uh, call this function wherever you need user input and um, so that you don't have to type all these lines uh, now and then. Just create like a reusable method and um, you can use it elsewhere. So most of the AutoCAD functions, if, you, if you're using it in sort of like a large project, um, don't try to sneak these codes here. Uh, just every place that you want it instead just create let's say um, a method that says calling this function and then passing all the parameters such as the keywords and things like that and put into a for loop and then so it's like a reusable method probably I'll show it in another fun another another video how to do that all right guys thank you so much for uh, watching this one and if you have any questions just put it onto the comment section and someone asked me about this uh, exercise files uh, the exercise files I have included a link uh, that you can download from the initial set of videos uh, probably the following videos i will just add the link that you can download all right thanks guys cheers and bye